All right, you are still watching Waze. Now, every year, this day, <laughs> Uti and I are in studio, <laughs> approximately on the 2nd of June in 1975, sex workers occupied St. Nizia Church in Lyon, France, to express their anger about the criminalized and explo uh, exploitative living conditions. The hunger banner from the steeple which read, Our children do not want their mothers to go to jail, and launched a media campaign to broadcast their grievance to the world. Their actions made national and international news headlines, um, and also started a strike that involved sex workers um, from all over France and created a legacy of activism that is celebrated each year on International Sex Workers Day. So... That day has birth this day. Uh -huh. This day is actually very, very important. The role of sex workers in the lives of human beings. They are happy marriages. They are happy <laughs> well, What are you saying? They are. What is what am I saying? Can you do what these sex workers are doing? You cannot. So let's recognize <laughs> and acknowledge their work. You yes. know, let's let's understand that they are actually feeling a need. Let me tell you something. Without sex workers, a lot of things would uh -huh. have gone wrong. But they are there, you know, so we cannot ignore the fact that they are there. And their, their industry is actually a multi-billion dollar industry because probably, now, probably more than that. guess what has happened? Sex workers have moved from being on the red light district on the street. Now, they are on your they Instagram. Are yeah. They are doing BBL. They are, so, I mean, you cannot ignore that we have sex workers and they are doing their job. They are helping lives. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's that what's that website only fans yeah uh -huh. you see so, I, I, mean, I never know that one <laughs> i know there's a, there's a website that exists like that so i mean i mean it's true now it, it, it is a i mean it's legal in quite a few countries uh, to a degree uh, variation i think somewhere circa 42 million um sex workers globally hmm. um so, I, think, so they, I think they are more than that. Number. No, they're more than that, but in the places where... It's legalized it's so that they have like... Legal, they yeah. Can, yeah, yeah, thereabouts. Um, but I, it's, a, it's, a weird, it's a thing, right? Because there are religions and faith and all of that that are against it. And then on the other side, you probably have feminists who are like, a woman has a right to choose whatever she wants to do and it's fine. And in a world that has commercialized sex so much, I think... You know, the, the, the definition of, of sex worker needs to be broadened. I'm telling beyond, you. Because there are people who are not having sex, but they're, they're doing the acts or uh, different fetishes and stuff mm -hmm. online, and people are paying them tons and tons of money. Mm -hmm. like that lady that found Jesus and started, started taking out all her implants. Is it Black China? Yes, uh, Black China. She was making tons of money, right? Just from, from that from, kind of work. Yeah. But not in the literal sense. So... It's, it's, it's a profession. People are making... And even money. the same you know, religion that is spreading like, against it. They are in closed doors. They are patronizing them. Come on. Who patronizes them? Is it me and you? Eh, well, so like I said... Glory, you wanted to say something. <laughs> um, I, I mean, it's a, it's a thing. Like you said, it's an industry. Um, a flourishing industry at like that. And uh, um, it's been... It's increased over time we also have the online aspect of it i mean in nigeria we have the hookups and all of that so it's a thing um i can always say that um as much as this day is being celebrated let's also talk about um health of sex workers and also um how they should pay attention to um all those health stuff i think that should also be let me tell you of conversation See. In, you know, on a day like this I was just going to say to you that the funny thing about these sex workers, right, when you talk about STDs and all of those things, you know, hardly, because those ones, are, they're a lot more, mm. they, they don't attach emotion to, it's a job for them. So, um, well, I, I like the fact that you're calling attention to their health. It's very important, you know. Um, but the truth is, um, if there is no market, yeah, there will I not mean, be any uh, good you know, I mean, yeah, the word. supply and demand, uh -huh. basically. So but, that's it. I mean, the health part is, is, is very important. important yeah. I mean, I know we're talking about it from the, the aspect of the legalized people, but then there are a great many that are not are working in dangerous situations. There are women at risk who that's their only option to, you know, to feed survive, themselves yes. or survive and all of that. So, I mean, there, there are multiple sides to it. Um, and it, this just shines a spotlight on all of so, it. So, happy International Sex Workers Day. Mm -hmm. On that note, Glory, let's quickly run through our news. What did you find for us in the news today? 
Um, my words in the news, it's just to debunk um, the story that came up a um, few days ago about Naira being devalued. I remembered on Thursday there about very early in the morning, one of my bosses called me saying, oh, she had Naira has been devalued and what are we going to do? Because things like that really affect our operation as a company very directly, almost immediately. So I'm happy that um, the story is not true. So it reads, the Naira closed at 461.76 per dollar at the investors and exports an exporter's window on Thursday, a 0.16 cobo drop from the 461.60 traded in the previous session. This slight drop came amid a viral story claiming that the central bank of Nigeria had devalued the Naira currency to 630 per dollar. The CBN has since denied the claim, labeling it fake news. In a statement signed by its acting director of corporate communication, Isa Abdulami, the CBN said, we wish to state categorically that this news report, which is in the imagination of newspapers as exclusive, is replete with outright falsehood and destabilizing in windows, reflecting potentially willful ignorance of the said medium as the workings of the Nigerian foreign exchange market. So I'm happy it's not, um, it's not what it is, because then again, when we have situations like this, most of the times it's always... Um, because we're looking at a positive impact in the economy as a whole. But usually, we don't usually get the sort of results we are expecting. So I'm happy for now. Um, Naira has not been devalued. It is what it is. So back to you, Oa. Why, why, why are you happy, though? <laughs> <laughs> because this, for, this 461 to a dollar is for the 1% of the 1%. Why are you happy? The person that's buying yeah, your goods doesn't Nara buy it for is devalued. When, when, when Nara is devalued, Nigeria, we're still heavily reliant on imports. No, so but no, no hear my question. You're not getting the you're question. You're not hearing my question. The question you is... Are, you are, you're taking on the side of the story that says the Naira is devalued. And I'm asking you, when have you bought Naira at dollar at 461? So you can only get it the, the 461 the is get it. for the 1% of the 1%. The goods that you buy that are imported, they're certainly not bought at 461. So why are you upset that the dollar is devaluing? That's a narrative that we need to ask ourselves about. It's because it's, it's, we, we're in the open market. We still buy dollar at 750, 760. If somebody offers you dollar at 630 now, you won't jump at it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll beg them more. Hmm. Go ahead. Um, okay, so what's my story? So my story, again, is, is, is following on from the, the current situation going on, of course, in the country. So reports earlier today that the NLC um, began their emergency meeting. So the headline says, subsidy, NLC begins emergency NEC meeting. So, of course, the Nigerian Labour Congress has con uh, commenced an emergency National Executive Council meeting following the increment of the pump prices. Uh, this story was reported much earlier in the day, um, and this was where the NLC, of course, was trying to come to a decision following their meeting uh, with representatives of the federal government, which, of course, we, was reported that that ended in a, in a deadlock. So I've also then, um, following on from this story, now gone on to see that a press release um, has been put out by the NLC um, that says notice on mobilization for nationwide withdrawal of services. Um, so now following the meeting, it's decided that the Congress will embark on a nationwide action and withdrawal of services against the fraudulent increase in the price of fuel across the 36 states of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the FCT, which is scheduled to commence on Wednesday the 7th of June and they're calling on all state chairpersons to mobilize workers for the action and ensure full compliance. So we watch and see. I mean we've seen um we've seen releases like this and eventually they come to some sort of agreement, agreement mm -hmm. before that date. Um so this is very much a watch this space situation. Okay. So Controller um, General of the Nigerian Customs, um Colonel Hamid Ali had announced that um, they have inaugurated a $3.2 billion modernization project to end manual operations. Um, during this um, inauguration project management, um, sorry, of the project management office in Abuja, he has expressed his delight about the project and he said that this is aimed at full automation of the Nigerian customs um, system operations, right? And he explained this would improve the processes and eliminate corruption in the system um you know what i have nothing to say 
<laughs> I honestly have nothing to say about this, but I thought to mention it. Uh, there's a lot going on in the country, and as I said yesterday, I will still say it again. We are tired of vague, um, what's it called, promises, right? What exactly is the plan? What, what would this do? Down to the very couple, what are the details of this um, um, e-system? How would it, you know, like, I mean, back whatever it is that you're doing, back it with data. Let's see what it is that you're doing and say, okay, yes, we can also put our thumbs on it and say, okay, yes, this would go far. Instead of just making very juicy promises that you think Nigerians want to hear. Controller General. We'll see you guys after the break. Stay with us.